All right, here we are in study three of Colossians. Today we're going to be looking at chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. And before we do, we'll answer the question in chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. So the, the question was about what did Paul and Timothy pray for? Well, first of all, they prayed that the Colossians would be more and more filled with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in the will and ways of God. Secondly, they pray that this would lead to a life of worthy, pleasing fruitfulness as they continue to grow in their intimate knowledge of God. Third, they pray that this would also lead to a joyful patience and long suffering through mistreatment, suffering, and hardship in a fallen world. Now, notice that Paul and Timothy prayed these things, and this means that the Colossians didn't have the strength to do these things themselves. They needed Christ's wisdom, Christ's joy, and Christ's strength. And what's beautiful is that they had those things. They had them because they were believers and they could continue to have more of them as they were praying for these things. And Paul is encouraging them then to pray for these type of things. The prayer here is closely connected to chapter 1 verse 4 to 5, faith, love, and hope. First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3 talks about our work of faith, our labor of love, and our patience of hope. The same three things Paul gives thanks for in this uh, book, Colossians chapter 1, verse 4 to 5, and I believe prays for here in chapter 1, verse 9 to 11. Our increasing faith will lead to an increasing wisdom in God's will. Our increasing fruitfulness will lead to the ultimate fruit of the Spirit, which is love. Our joyful patience comes from our increasing hope that one day we will see Jesus and all the sin and suffering will be over. Faith, love, and hope. So here we are in uh, questions for study three, uh, verse 12 to 14. Now, verse 12 to 14 is a key statement in this letter. This statement and the prayer just prayed are the hinges that the door of the letter swings upon. To understand the prayer and understand the statement is really gonna help you understand the rest of the letter. So here it is, just one question. What three things has God done for us in Christ, according to verse 12 to 14? God bless.